agent. A paste from baking soda can be very effective when used, when used in cleaning and scrubbing. Baking soda is commonly added to washing machines as a replacement for softeners and also to remove odors from the clothes. Sodium bicarbonate or the, the chemical formula of baking soda is also effective in removing heavy tea and coffee stains from cups when, when diluted with warm water. So the significance of the study of our experiment or what, what this study will contribute in our lives and in our society is as we go through exploring for new alternatives of the Ogmoxeter repellent, we may come up with new products that will be answers to our problem in the skyrocketing number of dengue victims. The product may be much cheaper, environmental friendly, and chemical free. So here we go to the experimental setup. And the materials to be used are the following. The baking soda as the cleaning agent. The distilled white vinegar as the softening agent. Mineral oil, mineral oil or the extracting agent. Of course, water as our universal solvent. And garlic as the alternative repellent. Essential oil as the other neutralizer because we do not want to smell like garlic, right? But take note that neutralizing the, gar the garlic's strong odor is not is only concerned concerned with human olfaction. It does not deplete the repellent's effectiveness due to mosquitoes' highly sensitive olfaction. And the next is the empty bottle, the measuring cup, container and stirrer, and lastly, the funnel. So here we go for the procedure of our... How? Uh, wait a moment, we're kind of experiencing something wrong with it. We're sorry about that. Put one and a half cup baking soda in your bucket or container. forming in the bucket or container because of vinegar reacting with baking soda. Let the mixture freeze for a few minutes. After the fizzing process, add 4 cups of water to the mixture. With this, the fizzing process will come to an end. With the help of a stirrer, mix the ingredients properly. Then, mix the garlic extract to the mixture. Then, add 30 drops of essential oil. It will help give the fabric softener a pleasant scent. Mix the ingredients again with the help of the stir. After the process, put it in a clear container of your choice and store properly. There will be our end product, the OMG Fabric Conditioner. So let us now proceed to the second part of our presentation, which, which is the insect, which is the testing of the insect repelling ability of the OMG Fabric Conditioner. So what we have done were, first, half fill four cups with water. Of course, never forget to label each cup A. B, C, and D. 
add three sachets of mosquito pellets to each container. Mosquitoes love stagnant water and mosquito pellets. Leave each piece of food to each container. Wash towel A with branded mosquito repelling detergent, towel B with ordinary detergent, and towel C with OMG fabric conditioner. After drying, half cover the plastic cups with these towels correspondingly. On the other hand, keep the cup D uncovered. These will be a control variable. Leave them stagnant for three days. After the due time, count the number of mosquito egg clusters in each piece of wood. The lesser the, the mosquito eggs, higher is the repelling ability of the detergent. Note that we don't have to find out the exact number of clusters approximation will do. So the sixth step of our experimentation process will give us the empirical data with regards to the number of eggs, uh, uh, or the number of mosquito eggs rather. And uh, on the other hand, uh, step seven, we, we shall conduct a survey with regards to the clothes, texture, and softness. So you can see in the slide the pictures we have taken during our experimentation proper. So can you see them clearly? Can you see these pictures? So you can you can see in the left corner of the screen the the cups with the, the cups are half covered with the cloths and from bottom to top there are the cups A, B, C, and the as we have said the cup B remains uncovered for it will be our control variable. So for our experimental data, after three days of exposure, we have tabulated the data gathered. So can you see the tabular form clearly? Excuse me. Yes, baby. So in the cup A, which, can, which contains the cloth washed in the branded Fabcon or branded fabric conditioner, we have we have counted 15 clusters of mosquito eggs. On the cup B, which contains the cloth washed using the detergent only, we have found 56 clusters of mosquito eggs. As we have said, uh, we, don't, we do not have to count the, the exact number of the mosquito eggs. Approximation will also be. So for the cup C, which contains our OMG fabric conditioner, we have only five, five found six eggs. And for the control variable, the cup D, we have, we have found 40, 48 mosquito eggs. After the survey we have conducted based on the observations of 20 persons, we have computed for the average rack of its softness, with one being the softest. So as our conclusion, based from the results, we therefore conclude that the allium sativum or the garlic can be a good alternative for mosquito repelling chemicals used in, in fabric conditioners. So that's the end of our presentation. Thank you. Any more questions? Any questions? with regards to the fabric conditioner and to 
solve the to solve the problem regarding to the skyrocketing number of dengue victims. <laughs> so another thing is that is we all know that these fabric conditioners have chemical content contents which are hazard. I'm sorry, we lost the video again. Huh? We lost the video. Okay. Okay. Okay, 